who was good afternoon. In our world of tree lovers, we have very few friends. <laughs> so animals have animal lovers have more friends. <laughs> but uh, tree somehow really romantic notion or but nobody knows anything about tree. <laughs> so in the small community to have a friend who as excited or more excited than one is about trees is a uh, big gift in life. <laughs> so Shobha is one such friend. You know? So call from Shobha means something concerning trees, some want more trees or this or that. You know? It's always exciting. But it's so wonderful that uh, the work that Nerala has done in, in Chennai and you know this, I mean when the when we did the first tree walk, how many was that? Was that like it was so about you know, uh, you, like you know when, the, when I first heard the word turtle walk, like everybody who hears the first time he said, Oh, do you walk like a turtle? They asked me. You know, <laughs> so, like, you know, like that. First tree walk. What is tree walk like? You know? But today it's become so popular. Not only here, other places also, I guess. But uh, I was associated in the first uh, few or whatever tree walks, and and uh, to see that, that there is an interest that has come about trees. I think that's your work, and you know, and the quarter from tree walk and all the other things. Today, definitely, there is uh, some sort of at least interest to know and so creating that in, in, a, in a place like a city and as like she was saying our lunch also city is such a unhappy place to work in you know the, the pressures are always so much and and whatever we're doing seems so little compared to that for us we are lucky that we we also see these things but then we run to the hill and feel very peaceful <laughs> like, you know something that we have created is flourishing and yeah. one can temporarily forget the yeah. bigger re reality you know yeah Mm, but over, over this year, like even I think last turtle season coming in, this constant road expansion and tree cutting. <laughs> this is the bane of the world, you know, bane of tree lovers to always see trees being cut everywhere, something or the other. And uh, I used to feel like, you know, my God, all this uh, work in this such a thankless <laughs> world is difficult. But thanks for what you're doing and thanks for having come here. Thank That's you. Good afternoon. Thank you so much. Uh, I was just thinking, uh, today I was particularly happy to come and share. It's a long way off and I wouldn't have come if Arun hadn't, you know, he's such a dear friend, I didn't have the heart to refuse. But I was looking forward to meeting genuine people who are interested in learning and sharing. You know, that's what uh, got me going. So I will just share some of our experiences uh, in the city. We've actually been around now 18 years. Uh, so these are some hard facts that we always are you know, reading about. And uh, what is uh, frightening is, though we read so much about it, there is enough research. Uh, we are talking of WHO guidelines, 675 million in 2035 and whatever else. Somewhere there is this feeling of learned helplessness. Uh, like Arun said, from where you are, it's, it's a more peaceful world. In the cities, sometimes, most times actually, the number of problems overwhelm you. They rather suffocate you, no? You're constantly fighting. Fighting with the bureaucrats, fighting with civic authorities, and in the midst of an apathetic public. So, what we have been trying to do, I will just um, share some uh, thoughts on this. So, what we have seen that there is more exploitation of open spaces rather than conservation. We are talking of uh, non-human beings. How do we create? You know, that is like a very idealistic thought. At this point, we are actually trying to protect certain spaces from being trashed. No, particularly places that we work on are all in public areas. Uh, I will show you some pictures in a bit. Um, across, in this morning, I went to the Taramani station. We work there too. So there are, there is a long area over about 200, 300 trees in that entire space outside the railway station. 
you will constantly have people going to board a train or coming out all along they will eat and trash you can keep cleaning up forever and it will be like that so with great difficulty we you know get the railways to fence in spite of it it will be inside so that is how many challenges you have to surmount so exploitation or for instance yesterday outside the kotrapuram urban forest this is a forest that we have created over the last 18 years fully voluntary effort and uh, this person who is walking comes out and says madam i have one request can we have somebody selling mushroom soup outside this is his request and he is asking us to make it inside and sell it so that when he leaves the the urban forest he can drink some mushroom so these are the kind of you no know, very anthropomorphic kind of views constantly you have to you no know, uh, deal with and uh, not be annoyed about which is very hard so uh, and one more important point that i have always wanted i am troubled by is awareness creation the whole world is creating awareness i either it is flyers or brochures you think uh, just by getting you no know, distributing this book on or a flyer on birds or butterflies particularly in the cities all the awareness is done but the real the real gap is from the awareness to the action that's where people actually need hand holding particularly in the cities where there is so much of so many hurdles so you hand hold them and that is the lesson that we have learned when you hand hold them there are many changes so now i am just going to go directly to pictures about uh, places before and after in our so that's uh, the kotrupuram what was all, earlier called the kotrupuram tree park so this was about 18 years ago it was absolutely barren and for four and a half years we had only one hand pump when volunteers came which was maybe once a week we would plant most of the trees came from the forest way some from oroville and i still have a picture of arun and govinda sitting on the ground with all these little ones yeah and then i many years ago i i got a picture of arun next to that tall tandri which grew and you no know, it's it's beautiful so uh, the this place so from being kotrupuram tree park now we call it the kotrupuram urban forest so along the way of this journey we uh, chanced upon this what we call shramdan earlier now we call it community greening or community volunteering because everybody doesn't understand the word shramdan so any time anyone would come once a week we tell them to be part of the process or the activities there it can be raking leaves or planting a tree or watering or anything like so that has now after so many years see we have been trying to reach out continuously and after so many years in the last uh, i think 7 8 months when this big complex has come up in that on that road and we have a lot of people from that complex coming volunteering we have a major general who comes volunteers to rake compost pits no it's so amazing and we have a, a retired lecturer who comes and leads little tree walks for children so this has been our dream from the time we started so this is what it is now and um, it it has been an incredibly challenging journey but this has been our landmark project and our flagship uh, the goal our lessons learned has all been from here and everywhere we are trying to connect people to local green spaces and make a difference there so that they can continue that journey elsewhere too and then we also raise nurseries we ask them to you know take these little saplings home maybe i can take five saplings or maybe 10 and then you raise it to to a bigger sapling and then you can give it back to us or you know plant it elsewhere so like that 
So these are all some of the, that's the Tassar silk moth. And uh, there is no other Arjuna tree in that area. And uh, one of the tallest Arjunas there had uh, hosted this Tassar silk moth mating at that point after so long. So we used to have a lot of deer earlier, now not. Uh, I think they are all in the Giddy Park now. So um, this is the Madhavaram urban forest. This is a place near the big milk bottle tank. And it was absolutely bare. So why I am sharing these are, unless you are on the ground and in grassroots in the city, you will not even understand or know of certain things. Like this man who asked me about the Kalan soup. It was so ridiculous. So here we had uh, some student who said, this place is very barren, can you help us plant? So I said, when we have some funds, we will. There is no problem about watering. We will water, we are the NCC students. And the NCC officer comes all fully uniformed and they come and they plant. The moment the planting is over, I am calling in a few days saying, Sir, Tani Ella Uthi Acha. And he said, Madam, I am conference in the conference. This is the man who has come and offered to you know, take care. And then he also gave me ideas like, on the NCC person, they are trained, they are trained, they are trained, or some fancy ideas like this. And then we realized that the lone well which was there belonged to Avin. This is typically city. No? The lo this is Tanua's land, the veterinary so, uh, sciences university's land. And that belongs to Avin. So you have to ask them permission to take water. That was uh, no like that. And then we had uh, the forest department telling us, please don't waste your time. Nothing will grow here. Go some elsewhere. And we had a horticulturist saying, Oh, you have a one-year project. If the trees die after one year, just before you hand over the project, you can just replant. These are the kinds of... No? That is exactly what they were saying. And we were horrified. So we said, we cannot do all this. We, were, we had to travel about an hour and a half to go there. But we persisted and persisted. And now it is like this. We, we have gotten in touch. Now it's over 10 years. The, it's a nice lush forest. We have connected to the, uh, the food technology university close by the J. Jailalita uh, Food Tech University. Children from there come on weekends. And we have a chartered accountant who coordinates. See, this is exactly what we are looking at, but it takes a long time. No? Like uh, one uh, software engineer listened to all the things we say, and he says, uh, Madam, eppadi nama scale up pannala? Mara ulla thaniye utama valarma. Appa scale up pannala ma. So, so you have to steal yourself to listen to questions like this. Koam varame. So this is the Chitlapakam Nirvanam, na? Chitlapakam Eri Pakatla. So in the Pakatla, uh, lorry alam and the oil sludge sewage alam and the Pakama and the Eri Kula Putuanga. So one of our team members, when he was seeing that, he said, let's plant some trees so that even in the in the Edathalerna and the Poga Mudia the that was how the idea began and we have this amazing, no, lovely indigenous forest. All of our uh, tree saplings we source from the forest way now. So all of your children, you will see them. So this is how, so we had, uh, you know, software engineers, uh, people who work in air force or uh, in construction. It, that has been the most amazing thing, no? In spite of all this mess and horror around, no? Of people who are apathetic. You have these wonderful people who come in the city and who reach out. There will be little children who are picking up trash, who come and are part of it, no? That is how this place has grown. And uh, there is a lovely community there. Every weekend, all of these places that you see, 
every weekend saturday or sunday there is a group which meets so announcements are sent and anyone can go any anywhere to help <coughs> this is the we call it the tiruvanmiyur tharamani urban forest because it's in the crossroads of tiruvanmiyur and tharamani and look at that place that was how it was and now you you see some amazing bird life mongooses everywhere so like uh, in the kottapuram urban forest we did not even have a single earthworm like uh, arun was saying you just and kumar was saying you just let nature be and it's so regenerates and that's what we are trying to share with you uh, know people in the city but here too there are lot of uh, challenges the we, we had these metal rods and fencing so one day when we go none of the metal rods are there they've been stolen so anyone from the road can jump into the space and any implements we keep it will be stolen so and this is in the busy it corridor so why i'm saying working in the cities are so challenging is because there is a sea of humanity who don't see anything you feel very alone no there are very few people who understand what is being done how can you help and reach up so these are the mrts stations i was talking of taramani earlier we didn't have a, a fence uh, after many years where you have cows you have people trashing everything one day i went and met the gm again and you no know, almost cried in distress so then he said uh, we will fence and the fencing took another year you no know, that's the least of it but still it is fence now and uh, it's much better just that the challenges of this place is it will be flooded during the rains continually so we had to choose um neer kadambai and uh, you know uh, neer marud and poorasam and all try navel uh, other species which are able to grow well and here is where uh, like i was saying uh, this uh, about sapling adoption so this morning uh, a software engineer who we have known long she took saplings which were this small and she brought them back today about 5 feet tall and we planted them all here so they she kept them in her terrace for the last one year it's so heartening you know and then to lift it down from the terrace they went on two trips to besanagar brought them it's so wonderful so here is the velacheri mrts and in the velacheri mrts our champion is a marine engineer who six months of the year he is on ship but from ship he will monitor what's happening here he will actually know he will say ma'am the manvetti is in the motor room i think there are four or something like that it's amazing so everybody in the group calls him captain and or he will you know these pipes which need to be fixed he will do it all himself and every morning he is there at 5:30 in the morning every morning on duty you know and one day i got a message from him i thought he was at work and he says ma'am i am just on the way home from the flight i thought i look in at the site so on the way home he looks in at the site and goes that's how committed he is very amazing this is the perungudi mrts so all the mrts sites outside otherwise normally it's just the building is there the space is there people are vandalizing burning trashing so we yeah. are Uh, we also work in the institute of mental health in their therapeutic gardens over uh, the last 15 16 years they have huge harvests of vegetables which are used in the kitchen and this is our green prisons program i thought i will quickly show you these pictures so we can have some interaction after that the green prisons program that's pural so all of the prisons are self sustaining now they save 
uh, buying vegetables to the tune of about 5 lakhs each month. Yeah. It's a good place. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so we found that working in the Institute of Mental Health and uh, in the prisons has been most heartening. Working in the station sites are the most challenging. No? It's like that. So, I always say, we, we are all, uh, no, we don't, it seems like we have to be in prison or mentally ill to, to do good. And the madri ayad tapo. So, these are some ways we have tried, at least for people in the cities. So, okay. So, some of the walks, uh, work uh, we've tried, the tree walks, how uh, this started was, uh, during our monthly meeting, somebody said, while we are walking, in the Maratapati Paislame, Idaudu Kade Erkala, and the Madri. And then somebody else said, in the Maratala Ani Ad Chirka, Ada Remo Panlame, Nadakarche. So that's how the Free the Tree campaign started. So, tree surveys, we involve uh, students, associations, anyone. So, they, uh, now we are going to start a heritage tree documentation survey. So we welcome, if you have friends in this area who are interested, please put them on to us. So we are trying to map all the heritage trees across Chennai. Ward by ward. So along the way we hope if it's uh, an educational institution or an association, we hope to identify places where it's possible to plant, to take care, connect more and more people. Because the truth is, unless you connect people to doing it, it really doesn't help you. Yeah, this is our green schools. Arun, that's Premaka. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, this uh, our volunteering effort. So, what we do is, we have different activities for different ages, just so that we facilitate interest. So, some people are afraid of uh, carrying a big bucket. So, we say, there are small buckets, you can f uh, fill a pitcher or, uh, you know, do things that you can. Maybe fill a sapling packet, whatever. So, we do a lot of uh, raising indigenous nurseries we are trying in all our sites. And these are our core concepts. Connecting communities, I think, is the most, most important. And uh, regenerating local biodiversity, all of these species. And uh, like uh, uh, some earlier speaker was saying, we talk about... Uh, so many connects, the cultural connect, the historical connect, stories, so many things. And the group also shares, but everywhere we feel that it is not enough to know about the tree, but to act for the tree. By knowing, you translate it into action. That's what we tell them at the outset. Because many people in cities want just it to be a Sunday morning, no pastime. And then maybe followed by breakfast somewhere and then forget all about it. So we are very, very careful about that. We try and you know, communicate that. And so this is our free the tree campaigns. Yeah. Bioconnections. And you know, we talk of climate resilient futures. Nurturing partnerships is what we are looking at. Yeah. I think that's it. I just wanted to uh, share some of the pictures and if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. So heartening to see you on this level. Amazing. <laughs> any questions or are everybody tired after the lunch? Green prisons? Because uh, we have tried, see, what happened was, when we went, uh, the prisons will be absolutely barren. There will not even be a tree in the campus. So when, when we were invited inside, first we began to plant trees. Initially, the prisoners were very disconnected, no? They were very dejected, depressed. The 
officials will just say, okay, it was something that their higher up had asked them to do, so very distant. And then when we went back again and again, the tree or shrub will grow, the flowers will come, the, maybe the butterflies and the birds, and then there will be a new connect. So some days they will say, Takali palka porde, or they will say, Vendika saptu pakaring la, inga vendika nalla arko, or whatever, no? So that's, that was so beautiful. And uh, I remember in Salem, we had gone, we went, first we did it in Pural, and then we went across, we were invited to do it across the prisons in Tamil Nadu. So nine or ten prisons. And then there was this uh, prisoner who said, Madam, I want to recite a haiku. So he said, so we were so shocked. And then he said, the haiku is, Mara Vetti, Mum Mari Tadukum Mull Mari. This is haiku. Awesome, no? Mara Vetti, the person who cuts the tree. Mum Mari Tadukum Mull Mari. Mull Mari is like rogue. No? That is, the uh, woodcutter is like the uh, rogue who prevents the mullumari, the rains. Mummari, sorry, not mullumari. So, I mean, uh, uh, some, many times I felt they are so much more sensitive than a lot of people I meet day to day, no? It was very beautiful. Or uh, the um, patients in the Institute of Mental Health, they wouldn't have spoken for years. And then when they are working with the soil or filling a packet, they will say, this fruit is in my garden or something like that. Yeah. And uh, the Institute of Mental Health, this morning I got a picture, one whole heap of vendaka. So they use it in the kitchen. The rest is sold to people in the uh, or in the hospital. Anyone else who wants from outside. Organic vegetables. Yeah. And uh, also we try in all these tree um, connecting exercises to uh, popularize a Tamil name. This morning we were talking of that. So when we talk of pride of India, we talk of pru, pu and uh, no, we talk of nir marudu. So in fact, we write the Tamil name and the Tamil name in English. We don't write the common English name at all. Because I think they can find it in, whoever wants to know, can find it in any website. Actually, the common English name <laughs> is quite Chase tree and the mandriella. Mother in law's tongue. We, we call it rattle pod. We don't say all this. Thanks to, thanks to Aina at, uh, where we also get to know the common English name. So many trees, like, you know, like for example, uh, one ficus is called donkey's banyan. Okay. <laughs> then uh, another one is called bastard sandal. Ah. You know, what kind of names correct, are these? Like, you know, Why many... are we even using that? Yeah, yeah. yeah we should not. We should yeah, not. Like, yeah, you know. correct. So local names, I think, is uh, very correct. important. For me, uh, it's a question, and yet it's not a question. <laughs> it's actually an acknowledgement. I think what you have done is uh, have <laughs> the patience to work with these government departments yeah. to make this happen. I don't know how you have the patience. I, I accept that acknowledgement, <laughs> It's just uh, extremely challenging. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. So, I'm, for me, I'm, I'm see, you're one of the people who also expresses uh, anger, frustration, upset, yeah. as you did even now. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, you seem to have the patience to be able to perse persevere with something yeah. till it happens. Otherwise, these things uh, don't happen. Like, you know, the, yeah. the obstacles in the way are so much yeah. that to actually stay with it till something stay and comes and stays, you know. Yeah. Like tree planting is such a popular thing, but nobody cares to see if the trees are alive after yes. that. Like, you know, so everybody wants to plant trees. Yeah. Nobody knows if that stays alive and remains there. Like that. Yeah. So, like you said, no, Arun, uh, I remember there was this official when we told him, uh, let's not cut this particular tree. We can look at protecting it, maybe use it as a median or something somewhere. Then he looked and said, 
Why are you insisting? We can transplant. I am ready to pay 50,000. So I said, it's not about 50,000. It's about whether that tree will grow there. What is the problem? So that is the, the arrogance with which a lot of people will talk. Yeah. So uh, it's, uh, we are just looking at the right action. Even now, we get a lot of calls from across Tamil Nadu, people calling. Last week, I got a call from this boy who sent a picture of some 50-foot uh, arasamaram. And then he said, he seemed very desperate. He said, ma'am, that's wet. Poranga. எப்படி தெரியும் வெட்டணும் வெட்ட சொல்கிறாங்கன்னு இல்லை எனக்கு தெரியும் தென் ஐ செட் ஓகே நம்ம கண்டுபிடிக்கலாம் யார்கிட்ட பேசணும் எங்கே இருக்கீங்க இஃப் ஆம் நாமக்கல் தென் இஸ் செட் அப்போ ஐ செட் வென் ஐ டெல் த கலெக்டர் ஆர் தி ஆர்டிஓ ஐ வில் கிவ்ஸ் தே ஹேவ் டு கம் தேர் த டிஎஃப்ஓ ஸோ ஐ வில் கிவ் தெம் அ நம்பர் இல்லை என்னோட பேர் சொல்லக்கூடாது ஏன்னா எங்கள் அப்பா தான் அந்த அந்த கமிட்டியில் இருக்காங்க ஸோ ஹீ டசன்ட் வாண்ட் டு நோ பட் he was trying to save that tree he is still in touch with me every 3 days he will say madam or kala vetranga i was telling him now i think you should not worry every now and then i cannot ask the rdo maram kala vetranga nu but see there is so much of love for that tree and there was this other lady who said uh, in the madri yaro electricity department cut their uh, coconut tree and then he said Uh, she spoke to me for about 10 minutes and I just listened and I said it's in a private compound. We cannot do anything actually. Then she said, Ama, but uh, thank you for listening to me. Avanukki irivatanji vayasu. So she said, Avanukki. Mm-hmm. So she called that. No, it's like her son. Mm-hmm. So she Sweet. said, Avanukki irivatanji vayasu. But she was so happy that somebody listened to her. So I sometimes think, you know, in the Sneha Madri, we have to give a name to our name. You know, just to listen. They are so happy to even talk. No, uh, jokes apart. Because I think it is so important. Because why they are calling you is because nobody is listening. Nobody understands. No, I get calls from Bihar, Jharkhand. no and some things you won't understand and then you have to tell them you listen to it all and then you tell them this is the number so if you are not able to find the number we will find the number and send it to you it may or may not help but at least they feel they have tried you know it's a very challenging journey really and uh, even now uh, um no we had lot of highway trees if you see many of the highway trees they are pruned on one side the other side looks like it will fall down soon so each person will blame the other here it is like the corporation will blame somebody else each authority department will blame the other but what i will say again and again is that uh, it is important for people to stand up for what is important to them so i keep saying that's why i'm so angry with this word awareness it has not got us anywhere at least in the city you have to go on to helping people to act and see the happiness in the action and when there are more and more people then the few of us who are fighting all the time no will not feel so alone so we say make a difference in your home on your street in your neighborhood but again there is the sense of learned helplessness no i know everything but i don't know what to do no yeah any other questions in to the after 2015 wait yeah the city was visually less green effect yeah. was it like a good riddance of these avenue trees what was the lessons the authorities learned after that you saying the copper pods and many of them went mm. i don't know i i wouldn't uh, see uh, I, we we can't say good riddance because see if you really learned lessons and immediately did something about the planting then it is a good lesson and a good step but for one month 
every newspaper and every meeting talked about you know the cyclone and the effects and the trees and how important trees are after one month that's all so uh, i don't think uh, people really learn these lessons and in the government as soon as that particular official goes then the next person comes and it's different again no so that which is why i'm saying we don't need to blame anyone we have to think of what each of us can do so once we can put that ball rolling then there will be a lot of change there will be people in wards clamoring for this that's the only thing that will really work no individual action individual and collective action it's it's always easy to listen to all this so i i was just uh, i had written something on uh, all the hype around uh, the founding of the city and you uh, know uh, so many uh, heritage uh, walks that are happening all that is fine but what about all the garbage that's strewn around do we also need garbage walks to know what is around your neighborhood no see somewhere people are shutting eyes to all that whether it is greening or civic sense or clean neighborhoods so i would just say individual rest- responsibility yeah thank you so much